Hello everyone. My name is Hemu and today we are going to discuss how we have we need to upgrade the Palo Alto firewalls and your Palo Alto Panorama device. What are the checklists? What are the things we have to consider before upgrading? All such kind of things we are going to discuss. So right now guys, I am having my Panorama. So I have two Panorama, Panorama 1 and my Panorama 2. Both of these Panorama I am running in HA. Active Passive HA I am running. And guys, right now both of these Panoramas, they are running version 10.2.3. And I want to upgrade this particular Panorama from 10.2.3 till 11.0.0. .0. So this is my end goal. Now, what are the things I have to check? How I have to do the upgrade? Everything we are going to discuss in detail. Before going into this one, if I'll go here into my panorama, if I run this command, so system info match OS, you can see. Let me run the command in this way. Software version is 10.2.3. So this is the version right now I'm running. So this command you have to run like that. Software, so you will get the version of your panorama. You can go here. This is my secondary panorama. Here also I'm running the software version 10.2.3. This is the GUI of both these panorama. This is my active panorama and this is my passive panorama. You can see. Secondary pair shape, this is your primary active. Version is 10.2.3. So guys, before, when you will do the upgrade part, right? What you have to do, if you will go into this panorama, into the software tab, you have to check. Right now, I'm running version 10.2.3 on this particular panorama. And now what? I will basically upgrade this panorama till 11.0.0. But before, going for the upgrade process we have to just do some basic checklist guys what are these basic checklists the first thing which we will check we will check the whatever dns server we have configured the dns server or not because you know we have to download these images directly through the internet okay through the support portal also through the updates.paloaltonetworks.com this is a url of palo alto support portal or we can say update server and we have to check the update server url is configured properly or not and these things you can able to verify you can go here you can run this command here so device config Oh, first, let me just show you from graphical user interview. You can go into this management tab. Services in this service tab, you can able to see. We have the updates.paloaltonetworks.com. This URL is available. We have configured the DNS server details as well. And now if, if I'll copy this URL and if I'll go here, if I try to initiate a ping, ping host, then this URL updates of paloaltonetworks.com. And you have to make sure, guys, your panorama is able to reach till this particular URL. If you have a connectivity properly, and if you have configured the DNS details properly, in that case, your ping request will work. What? This ping request will work. Same detail, if you will go here into the config mode, if you want to check the same detail with the CLI, you can run this con so device config system. Let's suppose you want to see what is the interface is configured for downloading these updates. Then you can check right now it is using the management interface for that. And if you want to check the DNS setting, you can able to check the DNS detail is configured properly or not, right? So these are the CLI command, which we can basically check, which we can run to check the things. Apart from that, the next thing which you need to check is the service route. Service route is configured by the management interface or not. By default, 
by default your management interface of your palo alto device or your panorama device will communicate with the update server of palo alto and it will it will try to download the softwares when we will trigger the download job okay but sometime let's suppose we don't have the internet connectivity through the management interface means we are using some different interface in that case we have to check the service route related configuration but you know because you, here this is a panorama device so you will not get that option because in panorama we have to use the management interface okay what we have to use the management interface if you will go here configure set device config system interface like that you can able to define like if you have if you have an internet connectivity from the some other interface you can use this command and you can define that interface okay exit out so these are the next thing which you need to check like you have a service route proper then you have to check the license detail you have the license or not so you can run this command request license then you can run this coin info it will show you all the license related details so this is the next thing which you have to check and after that, there is a one more checklist you have to check the check your device is registered with this palo alto support portal or not right whenever we will receive any device from palo alto we have to register this device into the support portal so this is the next thing which needs to check and after that we also need to check we have the latest updates with regards to the application or not these if all these settings or all these things we are having and after that what we have to do we have to basically determine the upgrade path because you know as i am upgrading from 10.2.3 till 11.0.0 right so we don't have any any mind any version here but let's suppose if you are having your panorama or palo alto firewall running with 10.0.0 and you want to upgrade till 11.0.0 in that case what you have to do you have to determine the upgrade path from 10.0.0 we will go on 10.0.11h which is a preferred version means this is the most stable release in 10.0.0 series so we have to download this particular version and we have to reload the firewall with this version or your panorama with this version and after that we have to download the next 10.1.0 this base image because you know it's a major release we have to download this image and after that we have to check what is the preferred version in 10.1.0 series and 10 in 10.1.0 series we have a 10.1.8 which is a preferred release so what we will do we will download this one we will download this one and we will reboot your pan os with this particular version and after that we have to download the 10.2.0 which is a base release and after that we have to download 10.2.3 which is a preferred release and we have to reboot our firewall with this version so that's the process which we have to follow and after that finally we have to upgrade till here right so this is how we have to determine the upgrade path and after that we have to start the upgrade process okay and where you will get these details so guys there is a one palo alto live community link with this is the link basically and when you will go into this link you will get which what is the base version what is the preferred version all these kind of details they used to release there so in that place we have to check this is the next thing which we need to check and after that guys now let's try to start the panorama upgrade path or what is the panorama upgrade procedure so guys before starting any type of upgrade upgrade of your panorama we have to check if there is, there is any uncommitted changes available means we have to make sure 
we don't have anything to commit here. Right now you can see we don't have anything to commit here. This is the one thing which we need to check. Then second thing we have to check the summary of your devices. All devices are connected properly or not. This is the next thing which we have to check. You can see these devices out of sync because you know I have not turned on these devices. So that's generally these devices is available, but these devices are not turned on. So that's why you are getting this details. So you have to make sure you have a proper connectivity with the devices. Okay. So we have to clear all the all the uncommitted changes means we have to commit all the changes. And after that, what we have to do, we have to start the upgrade procedure. So first thing what we have to do because you know I am running my panorama in high availability mode. So what I have to do, I will suspend my secondary panorama and I will start the upgrade procedure from that panel. But guys, I'll highly recommend because if you have decided to do the upgrade, what you have to do, whatever images you will see in the upgrade path, you have to make sure you have downloaded them in advance in all your devices. It will save your time during the upgrade process. Like guys, if you will see here, I have already downloaded these images. This, uh, this 11.0.0 is already I have downloaded, right? on both of my panorama you can see i'll go here into this panorama you can see 11 series 11.0.0 i have already downloaded okay now what i will do so guys now because you know i am running these panorama in active passive mode so i will go into the secondary panorama i'll go into high availability and guys, because you know I have configured the preemption, so you have to make sure you have disabled the preemption on both the panoramas. Just disable the preemption into both of these devices and do the commit. Just disable the preemption, do the commit. Just wait here. And after that, we will suspend the panorama from the high availability by using this command or either we can use the graphical user interface for the same. We will verify the suspended panorama. We will verify all firewall are connected. We re-enable re the secondary panorama and high availability function by using these commands, right? We have already disabled the preemption and after that we will start the upgrade process. So I will start with from the secondary panorama. OK, but if you want, you can start with the primary as well, but both have the same configuration. So it doesn't matter. It does not matter. It's completed. Here also it's completed. I'll go into the dashboard. I'll check. Everything is synchronized. Now I'll go here into high availability tab. So we have all these things. Now you can, what you can do, you can suspend the local panorama from the high availability. Suspend it now. You can check the status here. Suspend it. Go here. This is this become primary active and other one in suspend. It's now go into this panorama to go to into this panorama tab, go to into this software tab. And you can just click on install, click on OK. Now your installation has been started. Meanwhile, I'll go here. I can run this command debug software manager. So guys, this is the demon who used to take care everything with regards to the software upgrade process. You can check the status here. We 
we have a system root zero, system root one. These are the two partitions which are available. And guys, whenever you will run, when you, whenever you will install any new version, you will see this version is available, right? The currently active version is on 10.2.3. And if you can also check the log if you want, so you will get the latest log. So these logs also we will verify later. Here you will see everything. You can press the question mark. You have a several other. You can check the history. You can cancel the pending. You can cancel pending changes to the software package, right? You can check the log. You can list the software versions available for install right by running this command right now 11 version is available right go here now you can see process is started here you can track, track, track the process by running this command so jobs all you can see the software installed job right now is started it is in 70 17 percent so we have to wait guys we don't have other things to do we have to wait there are some other demons is also involved in this process like first demon is management server you can check the logs here as well there is one more demon involved in the same process which is your device server mp log then we have a dev server My log file is not available. Now, so what we have to do, we have to just wait here. 27%. And guys, make sure right now I'm upgrading my panorama and I'm running both of my panorama in HA mode. And I have just started the upgrade process from the secondary panorama. Okay, I have started that process from the secondary panorama. I have suspended my secondary panorama. I will upgrade the secondary panorama. After the reboot, when this panorama came online, the secondary one with the newer version, I will make that panorama functional. And after that, I'll just suspend my suspend the active panorama or panorama one, and I will start the upgrade process. So that's how I will do that. Now you can see panorama. You have to click on reboot. Like panorama needs to be rebooted for the new software to be affected. Do you want to reboot now? But before that, let me just show you something here. If you will run this con debug software manager status, now you can see. Generally, your Palo Alto devices, they have a two partitions. The first partition is system root zero and system root one. And right now your currently active PanOS version, which is 10.2.2 is a part of your system root one. And the pending changes were available or like your PanOS version 10.11.0.0 is available on system root zero means if I will click on this reboot, if I will click on reboot, what will happen? When my firewall is rebooted and it when it will came online, it will load that particular version 11.0.0 from the system root zero or from the system root zero party disk partition. Just remember. Okay. Even though if you want, you can 
see the log here as well. You can go at the last. You will get the details. All the process you will able to see from here. Creating the config snapshot, everything you will get here. Package set installation successful, right? Nothing to install into this directory. So you will get all type of blocks here. So what you have to do now? You have to go here, you have to click on. Yes, just go for the reboot. Now, once this panorama came online, you will see it is having 11.0.0 version. So let's wait for this process. You can see reboot after the reboot, it's going on, right? Now I have, this is a, like a console access of your panorama and you can see the process here. Restarting your networking, right? It is checking your file system, all these things you can able to see here. It has checked your system root zero partition, pen config, pen repo, everything is okay right now. Now you can see, if you will see, if you will check here, your software version, your, your software manager has been verified your 11.0.0 version. You can see 11.0.0 version, right? It has just passed your crypto test and other things. This error you are getting for syslog server next day, so it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it, okay? We can skip this. And now we have to wait here, guys. And guys, one more thing. If you, you have checked these logs, we have seen one log, which, which is it is saying send to us, right? So the, op, the kernel of your panorama is based on send to us just remember and on top of this send to us they have basically in installed the pen application and looks like this pen application is written on python because we have seen some python type of coding now you can see you will get the login here like cms login but guys what we have to do we have to wait here okay if you will try to log in right away your login will not succeed it, okay? So you have to wait at least five minutes here because you know, it it needs to start the backend services like, it will start your master daemon first, which is a master D. Then it will start the system daemon, which is sysd. And after that, the system daemon will initialize the other daemons like your auth D. Because when we log in, who will verify your credential? There is a one daemon called authentication daemon, auth D, right? When we will take the access, because you know right now browser access will not work, because you know all these browser requests is served by the web server, which is a child demon of your management server. If you will take the SHS of this panel, then there is a demon called SSHD. So what you have to wait here for some time. Still, if I try to log in, let me just put the password here like admin. Username is admin and password is also admin at one, two, three. You can see I am not able to log in. I'm getting some error, right? So we have to wait, guys. Just wait for five minutes and we will try. Now let's try to log in in the CLI. After waiting for seven minutes minimum. Let's see, I can, I got the access now, right? From the console, even though I can able to access it from the graphical as well, 
let me just log in into my panorama let me, let me go here and i have the shs access as well let me just re-log in now you will see i have my panorama 11. let's wait here now you can see locally is non-functional primer right now this panel of one is an active state no synchronized there is a mismatch right with regards to the panorama version and you can say it is having 11.0.0 version and if you go here if this time if you run this con debug software manager log you can check the latest log so you can go at the end here and you can see here package set uninstall successful prepare to install Installation info partition installing package set installed successful means you can see here it has just so we have successfully installed the new version right we can able to see all the logs here okay so generally if you will have any type of issues guys with regards to this always check the log file of this particular daemon you can check the history it will tell you the history when you have upgraded right what's going on this is a date right but if you go here install category install cms version this right this is the version which we have installed so you will get all the history here because you know previously i've installed these versions as well right so you will get these details as well. Everything is available here. Whatever upgrades part you will did. You can check the status. Right now, this is the running version. It's still we can able to revert from here guys. Means if you want to downgrade, you can able to downgrade from here. But this downgrade is not recommended because you know if you will downgrade from here, your log and configuration will be you will lose the logs and configuration okay so but if you are doing on a fresh box you can in that case you can able to download from here okay this is the one you have to use this revert option but i will not do that run the show command revert status rebel table is yes right so this is the main daemon where you can able to see everything. Get on the list. You will get all the list of you of the downloaded software here. Right. Apart from this, you can also run this command. Request software system software info you can run this command to check the soft related information even though this particular up installation or down good, good process you can also start from here okay now now you have seen we have successfully completed the upgrade of our secondary panorama so what we have to do now what we will go here and we will make this particular panorama functional. I run this command request high availability state functional. I will just make this panorama as a functional device. So this is the CLI which you have to use for that. Go here. You will get in some time. Peer version is incompatible, right? So you will see this issue. Right now, this one in active state. There's some mismatch because you know if there's a version mismatch, then you will get the running configuration is also unsynchronized option here. Now, what do you have to do? You can go here into this panorama. So you can log in into your primary panorama and run this command. Request 
high availability state suspend because i will suspend this particular panorama as soon as i have just suspended now you can see this become non functional and other panorama become active now this is the active panorama okay now secondary panorama is the active one and you can you can if you will run this, it's active one and you can run this command so devices connected all your devices in connected state right now okay and now what we have to now we will start the upgrade of your primary panorama which is panorama one how i will do that i will run this command request system software install because you know i download i have already completed so now i will install which version you can run this command you will get the version i wants to install the 11.0.0 version this is the c like command right you can do the same thing here you can see execute this command will install a new version of software it will not take effect until system is restarted downgrading from the pan os this earlier release required downgrade the logging system after downgrade you must migrate all your log data and other things okay do you want to continue yes software install job queued in queued job id is this we can run this command to check the status of this job and please reboot the device after the installation so once this job is completed what we have to do we have to do the manual reboot of this particular panorama let's see right now job as zero percent so we have to wait guys again to the we have to again wait for this particular job to complete. Meanwhile, you can run this command as well. Debug software manager. Check the log. If you want to match something, like you can match with install. So you will get the packer set uninstall, right? means we are current <coughs> current version we are installing then we will uh, we will install the new version right all the process of level here you can also filter these log by putting like that so today is 23 date is 6 month is third of march you can see you will able to get all the logs for two days check that job job is 17 percent now so let's wait here now if you can see your job for software install has been completed. Now what we have to do? Your software install is successfully completed. Please reboot the device. We are even though getting this particular message here. So what we have to do? You have to run this kind of request. System. Restart. Or request. Restart system. This is the command which you have to run and it will restart your system. Because we did everything from the graphical user interface and guys once your upgrade will complete you will you can also able to verify the same thing with the help of graphical user interface in GUI. You have to go to into device tab or into panorama tab then software then your currently install here you can able to see which version is currently running. Now installation has been <coughs> going on so i'll go here i'll go here let me take the exit now you can see it is just rebooting so first it will stop your pan software and after that it will go for the reboot it's just a grace for reboot okay so we have to wait here so let's guys wait for this process to complete you can see now it is setting down all your services it is stopping all your network services, your network file system services, which is NFS, RPC, everything.
Now you can see it has just started the just stopped. Now it will just restart again, right? You can see all the things now. You can able to check the things from here. Welcome to the CentOS Linux means kernel of your Palo Alto is based on CentOS. You can able to check here. CentOS Linux. It is setting up the host name, right? So all these things. Let's wait here. It is running the file system check for system zero for pen config. starting your networking services or your networking stack. So we have to wait here. It is starting the networking. So let's wait here. So guys, I'm just pausing the recording for some time. So this process is still going on. So we have to wait. So we get the login screen like CMSL login. So here we have to wait minimum five minutes. And after that only we will try to login. Let me just give a try. You will see. It will not allow me, so we have to wait. So now let's try to log in here. And I have successfully logged in. Into the panorama. This is the GUI of this panorama. Let's log in here as well. Let me take the SHS. This wait here. It's loading. Now you can see your HA is stabilized. Right now this device, this panorama is a passive one and other one in active state. And you can see the operating system or software version is 11.0.0. You can go here, you can validate from here as well. That version is currently in is installed, right? You can able to check the status here with regards to the software daemon, software manager daemon. You can check the history. We have successfully installed, right? Check the log files. Go at the end. And you can able to see package has been installed successfully. And guys, let's suppose whenever you will run this command in this way and you will get lots of log. And if you want to see the log with regards to with regards to the specified date, you can press the slash and you can put the month, then date. So today's date is six and year 23. And you will get the today's log only. Okay, so that's how also we can able to filter. Okay, so guys, now we have successfully completed the upgrade part. Now what I will go, I'll go, I will go into my primary panorama or panorama one. I'll run this command request high availability. 
state. I'll just it is in functional state. This is the last count which you have to issue. And after that, what you have to do, you can go here and configure your permission. Enable this permission. Do the commit. Not commit and push. I'll just go with the come normal commit in the panorama. I'll go here. Click on commit. I'll go into the second panorama, which is panorama 2. I'll go into HA and I will enable the permission. I just do the commit now. Once this commit will complete, you will see <laughs> they will synchronize. And your panorama one, it will become the primary active device. Let's wait here. So we have to wait for some time because there is some primson holder time. So they have, they will basically synchronize the things once this promos, this primson holder time will complete. Guys, upgrade process is very easy and we have just upgraded from 10.2.3 till 11.0.0 version. So this permission will trigger because there is a permission hold time of one minute. And if you want to check this particular detail as well, you can run this command tail follow yes, MP log, H agent dot log, you will get the details here. If anything is up now, you can see state has been moved from passive to active. Right, you can see here transition state to active moving from active to active right ending the promotion hold time because you know there is a, some promotion hold time for permission okay so if you know how to troubleshoot how to do the things now you can see your primary panel in active state and secondary is in passive state and everything is up and running and we have a CPU utilization also properly, right? So everything is good. And this is how guys we have to do the <coughs> upgrade of your Panorama devices when we are running our Panorama in HA mode. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you everyone. Take care.